Hi, it's Richard here from the Siebel Hub, with video 3 in our series of What's New in IP15. Perhaps the biggest novelty is the arrival of the developer preview of WebTools ENU, aka Siebel Tools in a web browser. This new application is both familiar and unfamiliar. Using the IP14 theme called Aurora, we can view the screen tabs and we will see they are the traditional objects we associate with Siebel Tools, the Windows application. In addition, two new views, specifically for viewing modified objects and publishing them, as well as viewing published versions and their contents, have been added to this application. Let's take a look at an object we're all familiar with, applets. The list applet of applets shows all of the properties that we are familiar with, right down to the changed flag as well as the writable yes or no, which normally would show as a pencil. You will notice on the far right hand side the responsive checkbox. Not all of the applets have been moved to this functionality already, and we'll be dealing with it in a Siebel Hub post shortly. Let's query and look at a applet we all know, the SIS account list applet. You will notice this, this applet has been changed. In addition, selecting the cog menu, you will observe lock object and unlock object. In this case, the object has already been locked for editing, so changes have been made. and therefore the writable flag shows as a Y. Just to be abundantly clear, this same object inside Siebel Tools when connected to the same database also shows as changed, proving that we are editing the repository applets in both the Siebel Tools and Siebel Web Tools. Let's pick another well-known object, the business component. Clicking the cog menu reveals a number of interesting and intriguing future options to reproduce functionality we associate today with Siebel Tools. In Siebel Tools we are familiar with the Object Explorer. It must be said currently that the theme available doesn't make navigation very easy on account of the Object Explorer having typically three, four, five, or maybe even six levels, something that Aurora is not ideally equipped to manage. Also worthy of mention is the fact that in your user preferences, there is now an additional user preference section for the composer, where we can find the changed date and time, just like in the options of Siebel Tools today. Returning to the screen menu items and selecting Web Template, you will remember that as part of your installation of IP 2015 or as part of your migration from IP 2014, Web Template items of certain categories have now been imported as metadata items into these repository tables. As you will notice, inevitably perhaps, this developer preview asks as many questions as it answers. What about Web designers like applets, views, and workflow? What about all working on a server database with no longer check-in, check-out? What about the tagging feature introduced in IP 2012? Will we be able to make Siebel Tools projects exist at the same time in Siebel Tools and Siebel Web Tools? Nonetheless, we can say that the sky is clearing, or if you prefer, the cloud is gathering. 
See you soon for video number four in this series of What's New in IP 2015. Take care.